Hey guys, it's your girl Lindsay and welcome back to a brand new video. You guys can probably tell that we are in the bathroom today because your girl has another hair video she wants to record and do here on YouTube. But before we jump into this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you're back to watch another video, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see in the title or in the thumbnail, your girl wanted to change her hair yet again. This time I wanted to do something different. I've never actually done this before, like ever before. I've dyed my hair so many different colors like in my life, but I've never done what I'm going to do today before. But anywho, like I said in the title, this is going to be a split dye hair video. Not a hair tutorial because I'm not no hair stylist. Y'all probably already know that if you've seen my past hair videos. But I like to experiment with my hair. And that's what we are doing again today. So I wanted to do like a half and half style. I was debating to do like a color and let it like fade into another color but then I was like you know what why don't we do something different something half and half like a split dye hairstyle so I went to Sally's today and I went to look at all the different hair colors that they had I was going to do like red and blue because that's the colors that I had here at home but then I was like you know what let me go to Sally's and see what other colors they have maybe like I'll see like two different colors that I want to give a try so that's what I did do today so I went into the you know the aisle with all the hair colors and I was like you know what what do I want to do so I was looking at all the colors I was looking at the blues the greens the reds the yellows the purples the oranges the pinks like literally every single color I was like literally down to do anything but then there was these two colors that stuck out to me I've done these hair colors before but I've never done you know like a split dye combination before so the two colors are these two colors right over here. We have like a purple and a pink. I saw these two colors. I've never used this brand before, ever before, but I saw these two colors and I was like, these two colors are really sticking out to me. Like I was looking at other purples and pinks from different lines and I kept like looking at them, but then I kept being drawn back to these two colors. So because I kept getting drawn back to these two colors, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give these two colors a try. So your girl is going to be doing a pink and purple split dye hairstyle. So I'm not going to, you know, drag on this intro. So if you guys wanna see me color my hair, then just keep watching. So I already have my hair split in two. As you guys can tell, I have like a faded red color happening my hair was red but it just faded into almost like a strawberry pink color like my roots are a lot more vibrant than the rest of my hair we do have some red like in between the hair on both sides so because my hair does look like this i was you know debating should i do a bleach wash or should i just throw the color on my head after like seeing how my hair looks, I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure these two colors would take into my hair without a bleach wash because my hair is a red. It's not like it's like a blue or a green or anything like that. I feel like a red would sit very well with the purple and the pink and the pink and the purple could like saturate like really nicely into the hair. Even if there's still like a little bit of red color in the hair after I um, put the color in and wash it out. I think it'll still look fine because I feel like pinks, reds, and purples, they go all well together. So the plan is to make this side pink and this side purple. So let's just start mixing the color. Well, not really mixing the color because we're not mixing it. I'm just going to be putting the color in here using a brush to apply the color. And that's literally all we're going to do. The brand that I'm using is Strawberry Leopard. Again, never used it before. I did go on their Instagram before I bought it just to see how like vibrant and pigmented the colors were and they actually look really nice. But then again, that's just Instagram so you can use like filters and whatnot, but I'm gonna give it a chance. And for the colors, like they had a lot of different like pink shades and a lot of different purple shades. So in the pink, I'm using Euphoric Pink and in the purple, I'm using 
or could you not? So I think I'm going to start off with the pink first. We're going to apply the pink first, then we will apply the purple because the pink is more of a lighter shade. So I feel like if I let it sit a lot longer than the purple, it would be a lot more vibrant because if I were to do it the other way around, I think because the purple is a lot darker, it's still going to stick into my hair very well if I won't have it in as long as I have the pink in. But regardless, I'm going to keep the dye in my hair after I'm done everything for at least an hour. So let's start with the pink dye and we are going to apply it on this side. So what I'm going to do is I am going to be putting the pink dye inside here and then I'm going to apply it on with the brush. I'm gonna get my gloves on and we are going to begin this process. So the color at the store looked really, really nice, you know, like one of those sample colors. So I'm hoping that my hair takes the color and looks like a sample picture at the store. So again, here is the color. I'm gonna open this up. There is the plastic down here. <laughs> that smells so good. That smells really good. Squeeze the bottle. This color is really, really nice. And it smells really, really good. Can I see that? Oh, it smells so good. So that is how it looks. It's such a cute pink color. Like it's not too pale, but it's not dark. And the product, like it's very, very smooth. Like very, very smooth. And I really do like that. I don't like when it's like thick, like very thick and solid because I feel like it just doesn't apply on the hair that good. I'm gonna brush my hair out. I think the best thing to do is I'm probably going to like apply it on the back. Like not the back, like where that section is. That's where I'm gonna apply it first. And then we can start adding it everywhere else. Yes, I know I didn't do my roots. I did not wanna bleach my roots. I don't know why, but I just didn't feel like doing my roots. But that is how it looks. It's applying pretty, pretty good to the hair. The color almost, kind of, matches the color up there. I feel like that's what the hair, like my red hair, faded into. So again, I just have my little Too Faced makeup palette here just to help me with the ends. As you guys can see, I'm using this to help with the back. I apologize if I am blocking you guys. Okay guys, I'm going to turn around and use this mirror behind me because I think it'll be a lot more easier to apply it because I'm kind of not able to see what I'm doing. Guys, I'm clearly struggling to do the back, but like I said, once I have the section going over here, I feel like it's going to be a lot more easier to apply the color. So let me turn around one more time and see how it's looking. I feel like I'm getting it, but it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, so I'm guessing I got the back, kind of. So I'm gonna clip this section right up and I am going to begin with the bottom of the hair, like the bottom layer, and apply the color over here. And then I am going to do the top layer as well. Honestly, there's no technique on how I am applying this. I'm just throwing it on the head. This is a little bit messy. 
but the like the product is making my hair feel like super super soft like very soft really like how that feels like a conditioner like my hair is being conditioned I can see a little bit of like orange I just want to make sure every single part is lathered But this is how that side is looking. I grab a little bit more. Because of the red, I'm almost certain it's going to have that red tint because I can still see it like in the hair when I move it around. But I'm not worried about it. It like blends nicely together. Okay guys, so this side is clearly done. What I'm going to do is I am going to clip it up using the same clip when I tried to clip it up before. But there is that side. And now we are going to do the other side with the purple color. And the thing with this is I'm not going to change the bowl. I don't think I need to change the bowl because it's like a light pink and I don't think it's going to cause that much of a problem when I begin to put the purple in. So we do have that purple color right over here and I'm going to do the exact same thing and put it inside the bowl. Oh wait, I got that plastic part inside. Okay, got that plastic part out, and this is how that purple looks. It's a really nice color. So this is how it looks. It almost looks like a plum color. But I do like it, it's very vibrant. Again, I'm going to begin applying it on where the section is. So just like this. And then I will apply it all over the head just like how I did on the other side. Sorry guys, this is the best angle I can get in order for me to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm guessing, <laughs> I hope, I don't even know, I hope that we got it, but when I look here, it looks like I did. Maybe we'll add a little bit more just in case. All right, just gonna hope for the best. So now again, the same thing as before. I'm gonna do half and half. I'm going to just do the top layer now and just throw the color on. I feel like this was like somewhat of a messy hair dyeing video because there was really no step on what I was doing. I literally just, I'm honestly just throwing it on my head. But like, this product though, it's just so smooth. It just makes my hair feel so soft. I need to try to get like into the hair over here because you can still see that red, kind of. I do really like this color though. It's like a nice plum purple. Okay, so I'm really trying to saturate the hair and get it like into every section. Because of the color being like a plum purple, I'm seeing red, so I'm thinking like, am I seeing red because how my hair was red or am I seeing red because of the 
pigments in the purple and I think it is the pigments in the purple so I should probably be good because I'm constantly adding more purple because I'm like I don't know what I'm seeing <laughs> and I don't want to you know obviously use the entire bottle because I don't need to but let me just you know do my little turn around and look at this mirror and see if I'm missing anything but it doesn't look like it looks fine to be honest but I think that's good but yeah I think I'm just going to clip it up So we got that right up. I'm going to just do the edges real quick and we should be done. But yeah, this is how it's looking. Okay guys, so I'm basically done. This is how it looks. Let me give you a little 360. But that is how the back looks. I don't even know how the back looks. I'm hoping it looks good. So like so I'm not going to know how it looks until I rewatch this little clip. I'm going to let this sit for an hour. I want to do an hour because I really wanted to get saturated and I just wanted to like marinate there in my hair. Yes, I know marinate is like for food, but I wanted to marinate in my head. I'm going to show you guys how it looks before I hop into the shower so you guys can see what it looks like. But... It does look like two different shades, right? Before I was seeing one shade, but now I'm actually seeing two different shades. And I'm really excited for this outcome. So yeah, I'll see you guys in an hour and show you guys how it looks before I hop into the shower. Okay guys, so I'm in my room right now. This is what my hair looks like. I'm about to get into the shower. So the pink is on that side, the purple's on that side. It does look like it's pretty saturated. So I'm going to hop into the shower and see how it turns out. I'm going to do a full face of makeup so you guys can see how it looks. I don't know if I'm going to keep my hair straight or curl it. I'm going to see how it looks first. But yeah, stay tuned so you guys can see how the end results look. All right, guys, I'm going to go hop into the shower right now. Okay, guys, so this is how it turned out um you guys can clearly see the difference i feel like this side looks like when i have my red hair and i start to wash it out this is like the color it usually turns out to be um it does have like a little hint of i don't know blonde i guess and then this side you guys can see that it has like a little hint of red on the roots and in the hair I don't know why this side's picking up to be lighter than it actually looks. It actually looks a little bit more darker than it does. But yeah, this is basically the end result. I did my makeup, try to do some pink and purple to match the hair. But I do really like it. When I came out of the shower, I was like, okay, I'm not feeling this. But when I started to style it, I'm starting to feel it a lot more. Like, it's cute. Like, you look at me from this side, you're like, ooh, her hair is purple. And then you look at me on this side and you're like, ooh, her hair is pink. It's like I'm two different people. I'm definitely going to throw in some photos at the end of this video. So I feel like pictures will pick up how it actually looks in person. Because like I said, like right now, I don't know why this side looks a lot more lighter, but it's actually a little bit more darker than it is on video. But yeah, I also want to add that the product, I did leave my hair feel very, very soft. My hair does not feel like it's damaged or like dry or anything like that. So... Shout out to the product because my hair feels and looks really good. But yeah, guys, I know I'm a little bit uh, close, but I really like how my hair looks. But this is going to close out the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this hair. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Looks like, I don't know. I'm feeling it. I really do like it. It does look really cute. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel already because I am on a road to 2,000 subscribers and I am almost there. So help me hit that before the end of the year. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.